Students of Lincoln North High School, especially seniors in particular, may worry about leaving school and living on their own. As a part of their school experience and education, it would be helpful to take classes that really help them understand what it was like living on their own. Some students may wonder why there are not more classes that teaches basic life skills outside of reading and math. Lincoln North business teacher Lisa Shockey teaches a class like that. I'm Mrs. Shockey and I teach accounting, principles of um, business management, entrepreneurship. Shockey stated that she uses a lot of the content that she teaches in her everyday life. Expertise, a lot of the yeah. financial management um, and all accounting and the business classes, we get the financial literacy. The students can get their credit for that. So I practice what I preach in class, um, having to deal with my credit cards, having to deal with budgets, cars, payments, mortgages, etc. English teacher Patricia Coleus is a mother of a senior at Ligonar High School and has another child currently attending the University of Maryland. Okay. What's your name and what do you teach? My name is Patricia Coleus and I teach English 11 Honors, English 12, Creative Writing, and AP Language and Composition. She has stated that she likes to prepare her students for the real world as much as she can. So the thing is, is that when we were in school, we actually had a class called life skills that I think they need to have now, especially post pandemic. I think they need to teach kids how to manage stress and anxiety. I think that kids need to learn how to study. I think that post pandemic, these are classes that we had access to that you actually don't have access to right now and need to. Um, I don't actually wish that I had anything to prepare me. I feel like I was well prepared. So I think that just being able to be more creative and focus less on preparation for college, but more on how to make myself prepared for how I was, who I was in that process would have been helpful as well. Math teacher Therese Klein teaches contemporary math. That is math that is used in everyday life. So what is your name and what do you teach? My name is Ms. Klein and I teach math, I teach Algebra 2 and Contemporary. Dealing with finances will be a big part of life outside of school and Ms. Klein helps with that. Um, I think Contemporary math definitely helps them prepare for life or college. Um, it's all about finding a balance between learning math and learning financial literacy skills. Ligonor School Counselor Chris O'Brien understands how students may feel nervous about life outside of high school. Okay. What is your name and your position? Mr. O'Brien, school counselor. He helps them transition out of high school and into college or careers. Well, I mean, I, I personally like the idea that there's a new health requirement. I think like we need to learn more about our bodies and the complexities of our health. Um, I think that having more than just a half credit requirement of financial literacy would make a lot more sense. Like I said before, I think just courses that push us outside of our comfort zone. I think that that's important. I think it's good to be able to feel confident and comfortable in many courses that we enjoy, but I also think we need to kind of be tested in courses that we're not as naturally gifted in. Junior, seniors, and sophomores at Ligonor share their opinions on how high school education experience has helped them prepare for the real world. Daniel is a senior at Ligonor who understands the pressure of preparing for life after school. Um, like probably class like about money and like financial literacy, so like that's probably be really helpful. Like when you get to like the real world, because everything is like money based. What's your name on your grade? Samantha, eleventh grade. Sam is a junior at Ligonor who is a little nervous about purchasing a home or living on her own. I don't know how to do like taxes or like how to even buy a house. What's your name and what's your grade? Hi, my name is Regan Helm. I go by Ray and my grade is a 10th grader. Ray is a sophomore who has a plan set in motion after high school. The only thing that I feel like I'm not going to be prepared for is military base because I do want to go into the military. So I don't know how that's going to plan out with school while I'm alone. 